Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm using my Liz Guild brush from CJP whilst I show you all my own nails. So I've already done all my prep work, which I didn't leave in because the video was like 20 minutes long and I just cannot bear the thought of a video being that long. Um, so I've done all my usual prep work. So I've pushed back my cuticles, gone in with a cuticle clean around that sidewall area in the cuticle area and then I've gone in with my sanding band and just etched over the entire nail plate, nipped away any cuticle if needed and um, dehydrated, applied my forms and primed and now I'm going straight in with birthday suit from CJP and creating a nail bed on my ring finger. So I've already done my other hand of nails so you will have obviously an idea of where I'm going with this design. So the cuticle bead is always the same. I place it right at that cuticle without touching. And then I use the tip of my brush to act like a barrier to keep it away from skin and like make that product flush into that natural nail. And then I'm gonna go ahead and leave that to set because we want to file that nice and crisp before we go ahead and apply another color. So I'm just trying to get it as nice and neat with my brush as I can. And then we're going to move on to the middle finger and this is going to be a full nail of CJP Mulberry. This colour is absolutely stunning and it is so easy to work with. It is absolutely one of my favourite colours. If you don't have this in your collection, you need to go and grab it because it's lovely. Um, so classy and deep and dark and just wonderful and <laughs> I love it. Um, I'm also trying out some new lighting right now. So I've got um, like a new tripod with a ring light. So let me know what you think about the lighting. I don't know if this particular way is going to work with my clients because obviously it doesn't stretch so far over the table. But it is trial and error and we, we will see how we get on. But obviously I want to start up in my game with the whole lighting and i don't want no wobbly tripods i want it nice and still um, and soon i will be in my own little nail room anyway so that will be exciting so i can really focus on getting a nice good view so again i'm placing that cuticle bead at there and blending that down into the ex existing product we have just applied can't even talk today and then a minute ago i was just measuring up to make sure that it was the same length as my other nails just checking that I've got all my apex and all the sides are nice and covered and I just needed slightly more acrylic there on that side bit. And then I'm just going to blend that in to each other, making sure that I've also got a nice apex there as well. I like my apex further back, in the back third of the nail, um, to make the nail nice and strong so that when it grows out we're not going to have unbalanced issues going on. And then when that is slightly beginning to set, I went ahead and filed my small line and now I'm going in with Mulberry again. And because this is a strength powder, I haven't applied any clear. I'm just going straight in, pushing that product right up into them wings and then creating the shape of my free edge, pulling up my side walls and patting the product over into the center of the nail. So we're getting that correct structure as well. If your brush begins to get a little bit dry and your product starts to stick, just dip it in your monomer, wipe away the excess and then carry on manoeuvring your product. Again, just making sure my smile line and my length match on both hands. And then when I'm happy with that, we will move on to the thumb. The reason I'm doing all these nails first is because I'm going to go in with some clear and some glitter. So I just wanted to get the darker nails out of the way first. So I'm placing my first bead of mulberry at the tip edge, at the free edge area where the form meets. And then I will pull that down to create my free edge. Gently patting and pulling that product into position. Trying to keep it nice and neat as well with my brush. I probably funny around too much with my acrylic really. Um, I should probably focus on speeding up a little bit, but I do like to make sure I've done as much as I can with my brush. Another little tip as well when you're using darker coloured acrylics is when you dip in your monomer, 
to save contaminating your monomer with the darker pigment um, before you drag the brush up the side just dip in monomer and then wipe on your towel and wipe all that color out and then dip in your monomer and you can drag the excess off the side and then that just stops that pigment going into your monomer and contaminating it all then I did a second bead, make sure I blended it in and now we're going in with a cuticle bead. I use this bead a little bit wetter just so I can get that um, nice clean cuticle without getting any on the skin, especially with darker colours because it's stained and you don't want that because then it just makes it all look really messy, in my opinion anyway. So then we're going to move on to the index finger and... I'm just going to do a clear layer here, just building the free edge. As you can see, I did have all, the, all that effort that I did and I still ended up contaminating my monomer anyway. And this did come out a little bit with a little bit of that pigment in. But I wasn't too worried because I'm just going to cover with glitter anyway. So again, just patting and dragging that product down to create my shape and my free edge. Sorry, I've just fell out of shot there. I'm then going to go in with birthday suit and I'm just going to place that at the cuticle area. I don't want a big, massive um, bulk of birthday suit because I am going to cap this now because, like I said, we are going to apply acrylic, so uh, glitter, sorry, to this nail. So we're going to then have to cap anyway. So pushing that in the cuticle area, tucking it nice in with my brush, using my brush as a barrier. Um, and then I'm going to go in with this stunning glitter from Diamond Glitters and it's called Cherry Cola. Ever since I saw Sonia Williams use this glitter, I needed it in my life. It took me a while to order it, but I love it so much and I've been dying to use it ever since. Sonia Williams is an amazing nail artist. I love her so much. She's really, really funny and down to earth and humble. Um, and I absolutely love her YouTube channel and the nails that she creates. I am going to leave a link for her channel in my description box. So make sure you go ahead and show her some love because she is a great nail tech to watch. So I'm just manipulating that glitter around using the tiniest bit of clear acrylic. And I'm just moving that around to make it nice and appealing to the eye, covering up the free edge area. And then I'm going to take my crystal glass and cap the entire nail. Patting and pulling and dragging it down, making sure all the glitter is nice and covered so there's no shiny patches or anything like that. Make sure that you do pinch your form and go in with your pinches after just to make sure your nails look beautiful and slender. So on the pinky, I'm going in with Glitter Planet Chocolate Fudge. It is gorgeous glitter. And I'm just showing you here how I pick up the tiny beads of clear acrylic and how I dip into my glitter and place onto the nail. You literally need the tiniest amount and you don't have to keep dipping into clear. Like now I've put that clear on there, I can just dip my wet brush into the glitter and apply more as I need it tiny tiny bit of clear into the glitter and then I'm just going to mix it onto the nail as you can see a little goes a long way and I'm just dipping that wet brush in there and adding more because that will stick onto that wet layer as well without applying more bulk with clear acrylic um, I am going to sugar this nail at the end, but another tip I learned from Sonia is that she actually covers the whole nail in the glitter that she's going to sugar, so that if the client loses any of the glitter off the top, it's not really noticeable. What a wonderful tip that is. And then when I'm happy with that, I wasn't happy with that bead that I picked up, so I just got rid of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cap that nail. So I'm sorry that I'm moving around a lot. Obviously, it's really difficult to film your own nails and get a good view and a good angle as well. Making sure my cuticle area is nice and neat, making sure I'm keeping that apex in the correct place. And then just gently patting and dragging that bead all the way down to the free edge, covering that whole entire nail. And I just felt like I needed a slightly bit more acrylic there, just where that apex fell. 
especially with these nails being quite long. I want some strength there. Obviously you get a lot of strength when you pinch your nails, which is why I always pinch. But when they are super long, I do like to have a nice apex in that back third area. I'm then gonna show you how I file. So I'm taking my file and I'm putting it straight up that side wall from behind and underneath. And then I'm coming straight over to perfect that coffin shape, narrowing it in with my file on an angle. So it's nice and narrow. And then I'm coming in from the side walls, barreling down on the tip of the nail going upwards so that I'm not taking any of that apex away. I'll put my file on a 45 degree angle when I go around the cuticle area so that that area is nice and flush. But again, I'm leaving my apex in the right place. As you can see there, I'm showing you. I'm sorry, it is super fast. I hope you are getting the gist of where I'm going with this. So yeah, cuticle area nice and flush, apex nice and high in the back third, and then the shape nice and sharp, and a nice C-curve as well. Then I'm gonna go over with a Young Nails sponge buffer. Paying attention to the cuticle area, especially with darker colors, because normally it's really difficult to get them scratches out, so I always make sure I buff with those darker colors. And now I've filed all the nails and cleaned away all the dust and now I'm going in with some crystals. The crystals that I'm using are from the Glitter Fairy. Um, I'm not sure what ones they were. I think they were from the Unicorn, Unicorn Collection. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and I'm just going to place a few of these on that ring finger there. So I'm using some Kira Sky base to secure the crystals and my CJP Crystal Ease to pick up the crystals. And I'm just putting a nice little pattern around that French at that cuticle area. I'm now gonna go ahead and top coat the nails with the Gel Bottle Ink Extreme Shine Top Coat. Oh, this is my favourite bit. I love that glitter so much. Oh. And I just did go underneath that little clear bit as well, just so it was super, super clear. Look at that shine. I always get a much better shape when I do it on my right hand than my wrong hand. So with the top coat, I'm just going right up to them crystals, but I'm making sure I'm not going over them because I don't want them to lose their cut because they are all Swarovskis. Before curing that in the lamp, I'm then gonna go ahead and just sprinkle the chocolate fudge from Glitter Planet over that pinky. Bit dangerous really to apply top coat to all of the nails, but there you go. And then I'm just gonna, with my finger, press that into that top coat so it's not all jagged, you know, just pat it down. Take any excess off the sides because I don't wanna compromise my shape. And then that is the finished design. I'm going to go in with my cuticle oil from Tones and is their peach cuticle oil. I'm going to nourish my fingers because man they need it. And then that's the end of the video. I really hope you've enjoyed this watch me work. I'm in love with my nails. Let me know what you think to them. Um, thank you for watching. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do make sure you go out and check out Sonia as well. I love you all and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!